two by six stringer or two by six extending through the wall, that two by six allows the cold temperature to be bridged into um, your warm room. So it's basically called thermal bridging, but it allows that cold temperature in very quickly. Uh, conversely, you've got the ICF wall, which has the thermal, the, the thermal mass, uh, that eight inch or six inch concrete core, um, but it's also the insulation on an, RCF, on an ICF wall is continuous. There is no break. There's an outside insulation and an inside insulation. So you have no thermal bridging. Um, and that is what allowed this test, when they did it, to perform so well. So again, for the first two days, there was absolutely, absolutely no change in the temperature. Um, third and fourth day, it performed R45 to an R82 performance factor. On the uh, following 10 days, it performed at an R45. And then um, down to its actual R24 value on the 14th day. So a pretty awesome wall. Um, I wanted to show you this custom home is, um, is six inch foam. It's, it's a Fox block, which is again, two and a half inches on, the, on either side of the six inch core. Um, what was interesting about this building, we were actually trying to get the temperature, ambient temperature inside the building down to 60 degrees so that we could apply our uh, metallic polymer floors. And what was interesting about that is we initially turned the temperature of the room down to 60. However, the radiant system was pumping 60 degree uh, water through the floors. And the actual ambient temperature inside here was a 65 degree ambient. We wanted 60. So um, we were basically, the room was soaking roughly seven degrees of temperature from that radiant system. It was looping at 60 and then coming back at, I believe, uh, 52. So eight degrees was being lost to the room and the room was maintaining 65 degrees ambient. So we wanted again to get it down to 60. What we did was we took the Nest thermostat and we turned the Nest thermostat down to um, 55 degrees. And what was interesting about that is although we turned the Nest thermostat down to 55 degrees, the coldest water the system could use, because it can't cool the water, was the water that was coming from our well was roughly 54 degrees. So it was looping 54 degree water through the room. It was coming back at 40, I can't remember, 47 or something like that. Anyway, it was losing roughly eight degrees, uh, don't quote me on that, to the room. And the room, even though we had cold water going through the floors, this room held at 62 degrees, and this is actually the coldest that we could get it. This all happened while we were experiencing roughly 24 degree temperatures outside. So it was a pretty awesome building, although it was hard to get to our, our temperature, we wanted to apply the metallic polymers. Uh, it was a pretty awesome indication of what this building's capable of doing. So we wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you like it. I uh, hope you like the uh, videos and um, stay tuned. Please subscribe.